Hi guys and welcome to your November 2021. This is going to be the You, Me, and Us bonus reading for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius. And I wanted to come on while I'm pre-shuffling because there is a lot going on with your energy and I, this is like seeing this believing guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams, hello to my members, my patrons and my coffee club members. Hello. Let's get rocking Sagittarius. So first of all, um, the energy that is representing your energy, I don't like it all. Um, so I wanted you to see all of these. Um, and they all came out and I don't like either one of them. The very first card that came out representing your energy is codependency. 31 is the card of four. Four talks about security. Uh, maybe your stability and your security is completely dependent on another individual. We also feel, uh, we also come into the energy of trapped. Okay. Trapped. That's 37. That's 10. You feel like you're under lock and key. Those days are coming to an end um, if this is what we're going to decide on, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put all of these out here just to describe what's going on. Triggered, okay, in an energy of 16, 1 plus 7. Obviously, 1 plus 6 is 7. This is triggered, okay? Something in this completely dependence upon another person makes you feel trapped, makes you feel triggered, um, there is some outside interference. This is the energy of 46. Also, another thing coming to a completion or coming to an end. And finally, we do have manipulation. All of these came out that six, and this is manipulation. Sagittarius, you feel like somebody is in your energy, stirring the pot, causing a bunch of drama. And all of these cards, codependency, trap, triggered, man manipulation, and interference are not good energies for you. Um, you ready, you're you ready to spread your wings and move, um, move out of the situation that's making you feel this way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and based upon the card that represents your person, that's how I'm going to pick one of these best, which one of these best represents your energy, okay? So we have codependency, trap, triggered, manipulation, and interference for you. Let's see what your person is feeling. Show me, spirit. And that will determine what I'm going to go with. All right. Unfinished business. Well, your partner is in an energy of unfinished business right now. Now, typically, sorry about that. They feel like something between you guys is not done. Um, out of all of these, I feel like, honestly, it probably would be manipulation. You feel manipulated. This person has unfinished business. That's the card that I'm gravitating toward. Um, so that's where we're going to go. You feel manipulated. This person feels like they have a point to prove. Unfinished business doesn't necessarily have to mean, aha, I see it. Unfinished business doesn't have to have a, a, a negative connotation, Sagittarius, but you obviously are feeling a whole lot of sort of kind of ways. And this person is determined to finish something with you, whether that is finishing what was started between you guys in a relationship or whether they're in a energy of being vindictive. We will see what the cards say, but this is kind of where you at, you are at. And then the, the message from divine is the card of charade. Son of that. Wait, hold on. Let me see what that one is. It looks like pieces to a puzzle. Sodaje. Sodaje. This is the at the presence of absence. Longing, missing, and desiring something that may not return. Okay. Melancholic nostalgia, awareness, and acceptance of something missing. Desi desiring what never was, yearning for someone that ne may never return. Absolutely. Now it makes sense. You feel like you felt all those things. You honestly felt all of those things. You feel trapped. You felt codependency. You felt trapped. Okay. You felt that there was outside interference possibly. And you definitely feel triggered. So actually all of these kind of go. And then grief and sadness was on the top of that. Um, and grief and sadness is what uh, a Scorpio was feeling. So some of you guys could be um, resonating or crossing with 
that particular energy. So let me let me get the the correct pronunciation for that again. It is pronounced sodaje. Sodaje is the presence of absence. So this person is filling your loss again. They have unfinished business with you in this relationship. Before I start to get the main and get their romantic intentions, I'm going to go ahead and get your romantic intentions first, Sagittarius, and find out how you're feeling about this. Um, so that's not good. You have five different things that came out, and I wanted to stop. And because I'm, I know that in situations like this, there has to be something else that's triggering this, and this person does not want it to be over. Okay, so Dajay. So Dajay, the absence of presence. How is a Sagittarius feeling about this? You deserve love and you are lovable. Maybe you're trying to leave to go and get the love that you feel like you deserve. And chemistry. So a strong magnetic magnetic attraction. Um, it is yet to remain seen whether you feel this way about this person. For some of you guys, you could be definitely attracted to this particular individual. You feel trapped. You feel manipulated. You feel like there's interference. You feel triggered. You feel all of these things. Yet at the same time, romantically, you know that you deserve love, yet there is a magnetic attraction to something or someone in your life. Um, it has yet to remain seen whether it has been this person. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the intent, the romantic intentions and see where we are again. Let me put those up there. You are definitely, definitely, most definitely feeling like you are magnetically attracted and have chemistry maybe with this person. Maybe you're realizing that you don't like the way this person moves. Okay. Show me spirit. Whoa. Here we go. First is they want to rewrite the love story. They want opportunities to reconcile with you. What else do we have here? We have unrequited love. There we go. So that's letting me know off the top that this strong magnetic attraction that you have is not with this person, Sagittarius. Show me spirit. We have in the hard place regret. Maybe you are feeling a lot of regrets or they're regretting the way that they treated you. They're feeling the unrequited love. This is their romantic intentions. They feel like you guys are soulmates. Um, and to some degree, this person could have been sent into your life, Sagittarius, to show you something, okay? We also have look for the signs. This person feels like they are drawn to you and they want to look for signs and they have looked for signs. They feel like things that have taken place between you guys. I'm um, sorry for the banging. They feel like things that have taken place between you guys has given them all of the um, what's the word has given them the answers that they need that they have unfinished business with you and they feel like this particular cycle is coming to through coming through to an end um, and here we go past returns perhaps the next lover or past life they are returning um, perhaps they never really let you go to begin with Sage um, it, it will come out and then finally we have social media this person may be watching, commenting, or stalking right now, okay? Very, very, very interesting energy here. Now, what's interesting even more about this is all of these levels of pain and frustration that you feel about this situation. That is what is absolutely crazy. So I am going to get a couple of Soul Journeys Lessons cards just to see if I can see... Um, a little bit more insight on, you know, why I'm not going to clarify all of your energy, but I would like to know um, what they want to do or what caused this unrequited love. How about that? What caused the unrequited love here, spirit? Show me what caused this unrequited love from your partner's perspective. What do they want to come to the table and reveal service they feel good when they can help others this person overindulge themselves and servicing you probably catering to your ego um and maybe this person definitely does have unfinished business but at the same time they don't understand 
I believe. And this was very, very um, uh, present in the Scorpio reading as well. It feels like an energy of not getting the picture um, of not, but, but again, in the such in the Scorpio reading, it was not the sad da J. So da J the absence of presence. It was about the fact that they needed to communicate because Scorpio has shut the person out, but they were not interested. Um, you found something else that you're interested in and honesty is what this is, what's going on right now. Um, this lets me know that they were not honest with you. That's the reason why they had to manipulate you or trick you into staying in their life. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. It is time for the truth to be revealed in this situation. Um, also, there is a lot of blame shifting between you. If I can grab it, um, they refuse to take the blame. Um, it could be that they're trying to take responsibility for their own well-being right now instead of blaming everything on you. But this is actually what is going on. But more importantly, this person is grieving. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. So, um, this person is grieving over you. There's been blame. There's been a lack of honesty. And this person has been over backwards trying to win you over Sagittarius. So right now, I do not feel like based upon your romantic intentions that you are interested in this person the way that they are interested in you. It is very, very sad. You are in an energy of feeling this chemistry and realizing that you deserve love. But I don't think you want it with this person because the... Message from spirit is the so J, which is the absence of presence, which um, your presence is not there. <laughs> They're longing for you, missing you. And this is um, and so I'm not going to call it the so J for the us. I'm going to call it longing for you. Um, you have five different words here. I am going to put trapped because that is what I'm feeling. You felt trapped in this situation. They know that you don't love them, but they really want an opportunity um, to rewrite this love story. Okay, like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. They want another chance, Sagittarius. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to bring you this me, you, and us bonus for the second half closing out the month's energy. I will see you in the main video where we will get down to the nitty and the gritty of this. Bye, guys.